Hello, everyone. This is Scott Framiller with The Mental Knot. I'm, uh, I'm here with Shelly Netco once again in our, in our new studio. This is a fantastic opportunity for us. And, and this subject is going to be little things, the little things in life that mean so much. So, you know, when we, when we started going again this year in 2022, um, oh, I forgot my Wooey. I got I to gotta hang on to this thing. Otherwise, I don't flow. <laughs> don't lose it. Yeah, you know, it's funny. Please. We, uh, we started talking about things that were going to change the tempo a little bit and be much more positive and i think we've shared our story and all that kind of stuff right so we've been so through, now we're gonna we've been through the weeds <laughs> we've been through the weeds for sure Tall weeds. which is a good thing i agree um but now we're going to focus more on the positive angle of, of how things are working and, and that mental health perspective right and uh and the little things in life mm -hmm. and you know when we talked about this i remembered that uh that you always talk about, i'm like hey what are you doing you're like oh i'm gonna go make cookies with ava Yes. And uh, it always makes me smile. And that's so yes. freaking cool. Yes. So so all those things you do as a grandmother and as a person, like those little things, they mean so much. You yes. Know? So, yeah, I'm making baking cookies with Ava. Yeah. It's so cool. Or it sounds that. like such a simple thing, but that'll be something, you know, she'll hopefully will do with her grandchildren. She'll do it with her children, her grandchildren. You know, I did it with my kids. It's just like one of those little things that doesn't sound like much, but it's a lot. But it means a lot. And, I, and that's with every relationship, you know. It, and we can relate to this in, in many different ways, but just things like that, you know, they, everybody always says that you are the people, you're like the people that you surround yourself with. Right. And I was driving home um, last night and I had my assistant take Nate to jujitsu to Scott Tenenbaum's facility, the TNT MMA. Right. And, uh, and, you know, I'm driving home and I'm like, oh, I could go home. And I'm like, no, I should go watch Nate because it'll make him feel good. Right. And it's cool to watch your kid or somebody you love doing something that they love. Sure. And, um, and I went in there and I was like, and I was thinking about that. I was thinking about making cookies for Ava and I got to go watch Nate, you know, <laughs> I love it. And, but those little things like that mean so, so, so much. And it actually, it fills me up too. You know, when you think about doing things for other people like philanthropy or just going to watch your child or your spouse or your partner or whatever, all those things matter so much, don't mm -hmm. they? And, and to take it a step further is while you're there doing it, being completely mindful instead of standing there saying you're doing it. And having your phone out, right? Yeah, totally, totally. And you look around, see how many parents are doing that, and they're disconnected, and they're not yeah. actually participating. And, and little things, too, could be, you know, maybe you send somebody a text in the morning, like, hey, good morning, or, you know, something like that, um, or, or checking in with your friends, or, mm -hmm. you know, making a phone call. You know, a, a really good friend of mine, his mom died yesterday, and uh, and I was like, man, I got to call him today, just talk, chat, and, mm -hmm. oh, I'm good, like, I don't need anything, but, you know, just that phone call, like, hey, man, I hope you're doing okay, you know, how's the family? You know, and of course we all say, do you need something? And they're like, no, sure. But you still do it. You know what I mean? You still offer and just making that call instead of sending a text. It's, it's, it is those little things again. Right. And I'll, and I'll tell you something else. I, uh, I went into my office the other day and everybody knows I love orange. So there, there's these orange, like, what do you call them? That you put plants in pots, like plant pots Probably. or I don't know, yes. whatever. And they, I got like these orange pots on the, on the table. You know, there's two of those. And then behind my desk, because I never decorate. Like, I don't decorate. You know, I'm like, whatever. Right. So behind my desk, there's like two pictures, you know, me and Nate. We went to, we went to go see, um, we went to Davis Monthan and got to do that A-10, you know, get in the simulator and stuff. So there's a picture of us there. And there's a picture of me on the boat with a couple of my buddies. And there's like, it was cool. You know, I was like, wow, that's really neat. You mm -hmm. know, the girls did that for me. And I thought that was sweet. That's so, nice. so it is, it's those little things that mean so much, you know, it puts a smile on they your do. face and things like that. Yeah. And, and when we get into that, I, I want you to talk about Everybody knows, I think everybody, everybody in the studio knows now that you've had 54 first dates. I mean, even Rob knows, right? I mean, everybody he, knows. I think everybody just, on the sixth floor warning, is going to know by the time we're done. Go. But anyway, so <laughs> let's talk, what, to see these little things though. Like what, okay. what could somebody do for you? Like a little thing that would make you feel good? Like say on a date or if in a relationship or whatever. Um, I think make plans instead of just kind of leave it open. Like that tells me that it matters. Wow. That's pretty simple. It's a little thing. But okay, so all right, give me some more. Um That's a that is a little thing. That's like it expected is a little almost. Thing. No, well, but fifty four. Um mm, damn. Right? Yeah, I mean I'm just saying. Okay, so go ahead. Give me another little but, thing. But I'm gonna again, take my jacket off for this shit. But but that's like, what Jesus. makes it that's what makes it a little thing because you would think that it's something that anybody would do. But it's right. not. So when someone does, it's a little thing that's actually a big thing. Because little things are really big things. You know, this could go into so this could go in so many directions because like you just said, make plans. And that that is 
yeah, I guess if you were disconnected or you really didn't give a crap, then you wouldn't do that. But, you know, what about, so you're married or not married or whatever, living with somebody. And, and like the, like we talk, we joke around about how you put the freaking toilet paper on the roll and how you roll up your toothpaste and all that True. shit, you know, and, True. and we laugh about it. Yeah. But that's a little thing that if you care about somebody, you would do that for them. Yes. Right. Or I don't know, there was this guy in the fire department and his, his um, wife would like warm up his clothes in the dryer in the morning. So they were like Sounds all nice amazing. and cozy. And I was like, dude. If I could meet a girl like that, you know what I mean? Yeah, I want to marry her right now. <laughs> right, honestly. yeah, like does she have a sister? <laughs> yeah. But it was funny, it, and that was a little thing that yeah. meant so much, you know, or, yeah. or making a meal for somebody. or. Well, and I used to make coffee every morning and take it to my husband in bed. Every morning, take him a cup of coffee. That's so nice. And he loved it. Hey, Rob, he's like, what? Yay! <laughs> yeah, Rob's like, what, what? the... Yeah. I mean, I just did. It was just, and it was just like, you know, a simple thing and, and I enjoyed it. I actually enjoyed doing that. Yeah. It's, it's nice to do things for people, right? It yes. feels so good to do yes. that. Um, you know, it, it, we, we, uh, we bring up stuff at work too, you know, and, and, um, like, st like today, you know, I brought in some cups or whatever and that's a little thing too. But, but when I, again, when you do stuff like that, it makes you feel good, mm -hmm. right? Like mm -hmm. it's nice. It's nice to do stuff for other people. Right. And that is a big, big, big part of mental health. Right. Right. Um, and, you know, even like like Dave and, and Rob, they went out of their way to help us and make sure that we're comfortable here and all that sure. kind of stuff. And and um, and, you know, you know what? We know I'm comfortable because I'm not holding my Sharpie. Mm -hmm. Did you notice that? Pretty amazing. So impressive. Um, but it is it's those little things of just making introductions and making everybody comfortable and things like sure. that. Um, I but, think I think we can flip the little things, too. And um, just from, you know, like the gr red flag, green flag concept. Yeah. And, you know, the book, Don't Sweat the Small Stuff. Right. Mm -hmm. So it's. The, it's sometimes we get into the little things and it, we make it a big thing mm -hmm. by sweating whatever it is or just making it something we get stuck on that we can't get past. And then that's what changes our day, changes our week, changes the tone of the environment around us, right? And it, and it always goes back to that habit of, you know, something happens, you don't deal with it. And then that becomes a habit and then that becomes your personality because mm -hmm. you actually want to be negative. You want to be in choose a spot where like, you just don't, you know what I mean? Yeah. There's a lot of people like that. Um, yeah. and but, it takes a lot of energy to stay stuck there and stay wrapped up in whatever that is. If it's like, you know, say you don't have your whoopee yeah. and right. you really want it. And all you can think about and talk about is nonstop all day is where's my whoopee? Where's my, you know, it's like I can't yeah. function. I can't this, that. Yeah, I need but my that's, Sharpie. that's an idea uh, or uh, just an example of and it's a silly example. But when people do that, it changes everything around them, including, you know, if it was me sitting here with you, it could change that. It just, it, it's interesting how impactful little and, things can be. And energy too, right? Like when we talk about energy, like you can spend energy being negative, but it also changes your energy. Yes. So if you're happy and you're in a good spot, your energy is happy and in a good spot. Right. And you attract that. Like right. that, that, you know, portrays beyond who you are or, or even like your personality, not to be woo woo, but it does. Like it if does. you're in a good mood, People around you are influenced by your mood, right? right. Attitudes are contagious. Mm -hmm. Moods are contagious. Mm -hmm. um, you know, in a relationship, it's the same thing. And and that ability to not make a big deal out of everything is so critical. Right. And you know, we we focus on the mental health perspective, and so many things circle back to that, right? If you have a good relationship, a good healthy relationship at home, then you're gonna have a good healthy relationship likely at work and in your life outside of your home too. Right. And that base and how you maintain that base is so important, right? So, so if it's a big deal on how you put toilet paper on a roll or how you like squeeze the toothpaste out of the toothpaste or whatever it is, you know what I mean? Sometimes like that shit you let, you can let go, sure. you know? Um, but anyways, that, I, I think that's a, just, we, we talked about really simple, simple things, right? Simple things. But, but it is, it's those simple things. And then you flip it, like you said, and the little things don't really mean anything. Right. right? So, right. So that's just, you know, a little bit of reminder, um, you know, worry about the big shit. Like, worry about, you know what I mean? Save like, my it. buddy's mom died. That's a, that's a big that's thing. That's the big right? thing, yes. Um, or, you know, your kid gets sick. Or I think you're going to be a grandmother again here tomorrow? This week sometime. This week sometime, right. Okay. Yeah. So that's a big thing. That's a big right? thing. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. That's way bigger than making cookies with Ava. <laughs> yeah. Right? It yeah. So, it's pretty big. Yeah. So, you know, we have a few more minutes on this one. And I, I want to go, I want to go back to... Dating, right? Since, since I mean, there's so many people dating. Okay. There's a lot of people single, and I'm not going to sure. put you on the spot. But I just want to hear, for me, something somebody could do is, is like what you said. Like, if, if 
But there's that game we talked about, right? Um, I met a gal who I like. Um, and what did you say to me in, in, before we came in here? I forget what it was. You said something um, like making an effort, right? Uh-huh. For time. Right. Or a priority ask, where people say, um, you know, like someone asked you out or whatever, and, and you hear someone say, I don't have time. Well, you don't have time. You have to make time. Right. So it, it's a matter of what a priority is, right? Right. And so when someone says that, it's like, okay, well, it's not a priority. Or it's like, you know, not getting a text back or right. not, um, not getting a call or whatnot. It's like, you know, you, you know that everyone has their phone. Everyone has like the potential and the, the opportunity to make a difference in 60 seconds. That's all it takes. You know, one of the, th- one of the, one of the ideas I had the other day is, is if you text somebody, I, I get, you know, we all have our phone somewhere close by always, right? right? And right. everybody's always looking at it and doing sure. the thing. And I, I get that, right? Mm-hmm. But there's also times when you just don't look. Mm-hmm. With that being said, and I don't think you should. Like even now, right? Like I think it would be rude if my phone was out. Sure. And I'm like, you just don't do that. Right. One of the th- one of the little things is by doing this show, it makes you actually learn how to communicate with somebody. True. We're fully attentive. We're looking at each other's eyes. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, the other people in the room are included, obviously, but it, it is those little things when you actually make an effort and effort sounds like a little thing, but it's actually not, it's a big thing. It's a big thing. And, and that stuff is so important, right? Mm-hmm. Um, in, you know, you, you, we are going to talk about dating probably the next segment again, cause, Great. cause it comes up all the time. Great. Um, well, this is about relationships. It is. Well, it's all about relationships, right? Right. Mental I, health and relationships. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think it all is. But, but it is, it's given that attention, you know, and somebody texts you and you wait like a day to text them back. Like, mm-hmm. really, how long does it take? How important is this person in your life? Mm-hmm. And I think sometimes we send messages that way by not sending a message, sure. right? Just by not even responding, mm-hmm. that sends a message somewhat, right? Sure. Um, so, yeah, and, and there, you know, the different forms of communication, like if you call somebody, it means you really give a shit. And if you text them, it means like you care, right. but you don't give a shit enough to call them. Well, I think, you know. too, that um, one thing that we get lost in is not understanding that effort is relative so effort to me is different than effort to you is different than effort to rob like everybody so so my idea of effort is completely different and it's changed over time and um you know i think it has a lot to do with you know what kind of an attachment style we have with people Mm -hmm. and what our expectations are obviously and then obviously disappointment comes from failed expectations which is not communicating an expectation or just having too high of an expectation of someone based on our needs that might not be reality. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. And then, you know, it goes back to communication too. And and the little things, um, I got a phone call from a friend and her daughter's having some issues or whatnot. And, and, um, and she's like, Hey, how would you handle it? Cause the other mom's like really pissed. And I was like, I don't know, I guess let her be pissed and then ask her what her expectations are. Right. Like, what are your expectations? Like, why are you mad? Like explain to me how you got to here and then we can figure that out. Right. Mm -hmm. And in that too, there's always those little things. I think a little thing people think sometimes is saying no, that's like not a big deal, but it is a big deal because Mm -hmm. it helps you set boundaries. Right. Um, So there's little things in communication. There's little things in body language. Um, There's just, there's just so many things we could talk about. Sure. Um, But I I think that's, that's a good intro. And and the next segment is going to be about dating. So that's a good this is, if we put these up in order, then, <laughs> then they'll be right. Then, then, then we'll, which of course, nothing we do is so we should, organized. We like should, we just fucking wait. We'll number it, right? everything. <laughs> yeah. We'll number everything. So everyone watches it in yeah. order or release them like a binging series. Yeah. Right. We'll just, yeah. uh, oh, we'll, psh, just perfect. send them all out. Yeah. Anyways, um, Shelly Netco and Scott Framiller with, uh, with the mental knot here in, um, in Dave Pratt's worldwide network studio. Uh, we really appreciate everybody watching. Have a great day. 